Hello everyone. Today we study the chapter 4. In chapter 4 we have acid-base titration and pH. You know in chapter 3, you study in chapter 3 acid and base, what's the acid and what's the base, how we define acid and base. Now we have the acid-base titration and pH. First subjects in this chapter we have self-ionization of water. Two water molecules, two water molecules, two water molecules, after transfers proton from the first one to second one, forms hydronium and hydroxide ions. After transfers protons from the first molecules of water to second one, form hydronium and hydroxide. This is called self-ionization of water. We have this questions in the final exam for 2016 first term. The concentration, the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide in pure water, in pure water, in pure water at 25 degrees Celsius equals 1 times 10 to power negative 7 molarity. So what's the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide in pure water at these numbers of degrees Celsius? You say it's 1 times 10 to power negative 7 molarity. This concentration always changes by changing temperature, by increasing temperature. Concentration of hydronium and hydroxide in pure water at 25 degrees Celsius is equals to 1 times 10 to the power negative 7 molarity. This is constant concentration in pure water. This number always is directly proportional to the temperature. When the temperature rises and increasing, so the concentration will be increases and by decreasing temperature also the concentration will be decreases. First rule in this chapter we have KW is equals to concentration of hydronium multiplied by concentration of hydroxide. Kw, it means what? Constant, constant ionization, constant ionization of water at 25 degrees Celsius each one is equal to 10 to power negative 7 after multiply becomes 1 times 10 to power negative 14. This rule in this chapter it's used to convert it hydronium to hydroxide and hydroxide to hydronium. Kw is equal to hydronium times hydroxide always is used to converting between hydronium to hydroxide and opposite. KW, KW at 50 degrees Celsius, we say what? We have this question in this year from the first term. First term. At 50 degrees Celsius, you say KW is greater than 10 to the power negative 14. But KW at 10 degrees Celsius, you say KW is less than 10 to the power negative 14. So, Constant always in chemistry, it depends and changes by what? By one factor, it's what? Temperature. We have three types of solutions in chemistry. Not. First one, we have a neutral solution. Acidic, acidic, and we have what? Basic, basic. About the neutral solutions, concentration of hydronium always equals concentration of hydroxide 10 to power negative 7 molarity. pH, power of concentration of hydronium, is equals to power of concentration of hydroxide is equals to 7. So which one is true about the neutral solution? You say it's what? pH equal pOH is equals to 7 and about the concentration you say it's what? You say it's equal 10 to power negative 7. In acidic, in acidic solution, Concentration of hydronium is greater than concentration of hydroxide. Concentration of hydronium is bigger than 10 to the power negative 7. 10 to the power negative 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. pH is less than 7. pOH is greater than 7. And pOH is bigger than pH. This all proper about the acidic solutions and chemistry. Which one is true? If it says which one is true about the acidic solution, you say hydronium is bigger than hydroxide. We have one question in this here from the second, uh, third term. Says what? Which of the following is true about the acidic solution? You say hydronium bigger than hydroxide. About the basic solution, basic. 
Concentration of hydroxide is bigger than hydronium. Concentration of hydronium is smaller than 10 to power negative 7. Concept pH is bigger than 7. POH is less than 7. pH bigger than what? POH. This information is about the three types of solutions in chemistry. We have neutral, acidic, and basic. One question is about the types of solution. If concentration of OH in solution equal 1 times 10 to the power negative 11 molarity, so it becomes dash. Look, concentration of OH is equal to 10 to the power negative 11. Negative 11 is less than negative 7. Look, in here, now I say is hydronium bigger than 10 to the power negative 7. Hydroxide opposite, less than 10 to the power negative 7. In here, hydronium le less than 10 to the power negative 7. So OH becomes what? Bigger than 10 to the power negative 7. Look, 10 to the power negative 11, 10 to the power negative 11 is less than 10 to the power negative 7. In which solutions the uh -huh. In which solutions the concentration of OH is less than 10 to the power negative 7? You say what? Acid. So the solutions become what? Acidic. Becomes acidic. Another example about this note. If concentration of hydronium 2.3 times 10 to the power negative 8 molarity of a solution, so the solution it becomes, it becomes dash. Look, about these numbers, always you omitted this number. Omitted these numbers. 10 to the power negative 8 always is less than negative 7. What do you say about the less than 10 to the power negative 7? Hydronium less than 10 to the power negative 7. So the solution becomes what? You say it's basic. Basic. Next example, if pH is equal to 7, so sol the solution, it becomes, it becomes dash, you say it's what? A neutron. There's some examples about the types of solutions, neutral, acidic, and base. Have you answers for the final exams about this uh, information? It's very important. Now we have Acidic solution. In acidic solution, acidic solution, always first we will find hydronium. How you find the hydronium? You say strong acid concentration multiplied by number of hydronium. Strong acid, the used for the strong acid. Strong acid, you know, completely ionized. Directly, we will find the concentration of hydronium. But about the basic solution, basic, basic solution. In basic solution, we find concentration of hydroxide, you know, after dissociation, because ba strong base always it's ionic compound. Strong base concentration multiplied by number of hydroxide when the ionic compound dissolves in water. This is for what? A strong base. Always, first step for the determining the concentration of hydronium in the strong acids, acids by, used by this rule, strong acid times number of hydronium. Then how we convert it to hydroxide, if in questions we have the acidic solution, acid about the hydroxide. First step for analyzing these questions, you find the hydronium. After that, for converting hydronium to hydroxide, used what? KW. KW always is used for the converted hydronium to hydroxide and hydroxide to hydronium. Also, this uh, steps used for the basic solution. For example, find, find, find OH concentration in 10 to power negative 3 molarity of HCl solution, of HCl solution. Look, 
And here we have acidic solution, but questions ask about the hydroxide. Always, acidic solutions, after ionized completely, give me hydronium ions. So, first we're finding the hydronium. Hydronium concentration is equal to concentration of strong acid multiplied by number of H in a molecular compound when we found. Look, we have one H, one H, one H. The concentration of strong acid 10 to power negative 3 times 1 become 10 to power negative 3 molarity. First, always we find the hydronium. Why? Because acidic solution always give me hydronium ions. Then how are you converting to hydroxide? You say concentration of hydroxide is equals to Kw over hydronium. Kw over hydronium, you know Kw 1 times 10 to power negative 14 over 1 times 10 to power negative 3, 1 times 10 to power negative 11 molarity. This answers for this question is about the determining OH in what acidic solution. Next examples for the basic. Find concentration of hydronium in 1 times 10 to power negative 9 molarity of NaOH the solution. In here we have strong base. For the strong base first we finding OH is equals NaOH concentration multiplied by number of OH we have 1. 1 times 10 to power negative 9 times 1. 1 times 10 to power negative 9 molarity. This is concentration of hydroxide. Why first steps we finding the concentration of hydroxide? Because the solution becomes what? Basic. Converting to hydronium by Kw. Kw. Kw, you know always 1 times 10 to power negative 14. Over 1 times 10 to power negative 9. 1 times 10 to power negative 5 what? Molarity. This is concentration of hydronium in basic solutions after hydroxide when the first steps we find it. Last examples about, about acidic and basic solution. Find mole of CaOH by 2 solution and 2 liter of a solution. In order to, the concentration of hydronium becomes 1 times 10 to power negative 11 molarity. And here, in this question, I changed the amount when we find ink, say it's what, find the mole. First look at the solution. The solution is acidic or basic, it's the basic. And, and here we have hydronium. Can we determine directly concentration of base by hydronium directly? He says no. First, we're converting hydronium to hydroxide. Hydroxide, OH, by what? By Kw. 1 times 10 to power negative 14 Kw at 25 degrees Celsius, 1 times 10 to power negative 11. 1 times 10 to power negative 3 molarity. Why are we finding hydroxide concentration? Because you know the solution becomes basic. Then we find the concentration of strong base. OH, CaOH by 2, multiplied by number of OH2. 1 times 10 to power negative 3 is equals Y unknown, multiplied by 2. Y is equals 1 times 10 to power negative 3 divided by 2, or 0.5 times 10 to power negative 3, so 5 times 10 to power negative 4 molarity. This is concentration of what? Why? It's concentration of CaOH by 2. But look at the question, says what? Find the mole. You know, mole, mole in chapter 1 you study the molarity, mole is equal to molarity times volume per liter. Molarity of strong acid 5 times 10 to power negative 4 multiplied by volume 2 to volume. This gives equations. 10 times 10 to power negative 4, 1 times 10 to power negative 3 mole for what? CaOH by 2 solutions. This last question is about the acidic and basic solutions.